Hi, this is Frank Carmody. So we are back in Joomla. So we have installed our uh, template, our, our rocket theme uh, template. Uh, we have changed our logo and now we're going to go ahead and add a module. Okay, and the module we're going to add is the slideshow CK. You can get this on the Joomla extensions. So slideshow CK, it's a, you know, it, I've tested it. It's, it works really well. Um, Okay, so basically you go ahead and you download this. You click the download link from the from the Joomla extensions directory. There's no uh, login required. Um, once you get the zip file that you're gonna, the resulting zip file, you don't need to do anything else with it. You just go to the, your extension manager, and you're gonna browse for it. Okay, and I've already put it right here, so it's gonna be mod underscore slideshow. A lot of times that's how they name them, mod underscore. So that's fine. You go upload and install. Okay, and it should say installing module was successful, and you should get this kind of, uh, you know, just screen saying that it's been installed. Okay, all right, so now let's go look for it, uh, and we're going to go to um, uh, extensions module manager. Okay, now I've already done a couple things in here with this to just to test it out prior to um, prior to uh, doing this video. So under module manager, let's go ahead and we're going to try to find it here. Okay, and on the left here, actually, I put the filter as published. Okay, and we want to go to uh, select status here to, un to to remove that. Okay, and here we have it, the slideshow CK. This is how it will appear in yours. Now, in yours, it will have a none in this column, which is fine. So let's go ahead and click into slideshow CK. Okay, so now you're going to see this, um, this all of the options that you have for this module. Okay, now the main one that the so let's go down and let's just take a look. Okay, so first is the title. We want to hide that title. Okay, so we don't want any title for the slideshow. We just want a slideshow. The second is the position. Now this position corresponds. Let's go ahead and do the drop down menu. And so the position is going to be listed by template. Okay, so these are all your installed templates. So the Bs3 is an installed template. We keep scrolling down. The Protostar is an installed template. Finally, this is the right one, the RT Afterburner 2. That's our template, right? And remember that these are all in our template manager. Remember that when we went under the Layouts tab in the template manager, we could go ahead and put up to six positions in the top row, right, in the row called Top. We could put up to six positions in the row called header. And then breadcrumb didn't appear though, right? So breadcrumb was not in the template manager, but that's fine. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put that in breadcrumb because that's right down below the header. So if we go back to our home page tab, that's going to be right here above getting started below the blue, dark blue section. So that's just what we want. Okay, we want to publish it, which is good. Access is public. That means that anyone can see it, not just people that are logged in. The ordering we're just going to leave for now, okay, and that's fine. We're going to go ahead and save that just so it kind of works for us. Okay, now now here's a really common mistake that people make. So a lot of times when they're when a person first starts using Joomla, they, they go in, they publish the, they do everything on this front page. They publish it, they choose a spot for it, and then they go back to their home page and it doesn't show up. They reload it, oh, I can't find it, okay. What they don't get is you actually have to go to this menu assignments tab. Okay, and this is going to be on, it's going to say no pages when it first starts. Okay, so then we would need to go to only on selected pages or only on pages except those selected. So you need to choose one of these things. Okay, so we said only on pages selected and we choose the main, the whole menu. Okay, so, so we go to a menu assignment, we choose only on the home page. And we go ahead and save it again. Okay, now at this point, our module should show up. So we save it. Let's go back to our home page. Let's reload the page. And there is our slideshow. Okay, so basically that's our that's our initial thing. So now this is, they loaded some default images into the slideshow. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we change those images. Okay, so we, we have our images here. Okay, so let's go back in. Let's take a look at the um, at the slideshow options itself. Let's go to op the options tab. 
Okay, so notice that this is a pretty. This is what makes this thing great is that we have this. Uh, this uh, you can add as many slides as you want. You can change them around. You can do. You can add a caption. It's it's pretty good. Okay, so. Um, okay, so the one thing that we do want to do is we want to uh, we want to take a look and we want to actually uh, see how large the images are that they used originally. Because the easiest thing to do is to actually match the size of those images. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually see one of the images in. Uh, okay, so here it is. This is the bridge image. So notice how large it is. So uh, if we save this image, we're going to go save as bridge.jpg. Okay, so we're going to save that original image just to take a look at how large it is. Okay, so now we're back in Pixlr. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to, to uh, get three images for us to put in the slideshow. And I'll tell you how we did that. Okay, so first thing I did was I want to go get my raw images from Google. Okay. So remember we had our sample, right? We downloaded the sample bridge image. So we, we're going to know how big the other images have to be. Now we're going to go to Google and we're just going to find really giant images. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so remember I'm doing a daddy boot camp, right? So I'm going to search on baby. Okay, now, can I use any, any image I want? No, I cannot. If you use these images, what you're going to get is a bill in the mail from somebody who's selling images on the Internet. All right, so what we have to do is we have to go to our advanced search. Okay, we need to go down to usage rights and go free to user share even commercially is the best one to use. Okay, since we're not doing it commercially, this free to user share is fine for us since we're not charging money or making money off of it. Um, and then we want to go to larger than 2 megapixels. Okay, so that's going to get very big images. Remember, a megapixel is a thousand images, right? Two thousand megapixels is two thousand pixels. Okay, actually, it's megapixel. Don't quote me on that. It's a large image. It's like the size that would come off a digital camera. Oops. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to search. Okay, now I did this earlier, so I went in here and I found appropriate three appropriate photos that were kind of dad-based photos. Oh my gosh, and then. Um, so you can get a lot of very odd stuff on Google Images, obviously. All right, so, but that's how we got our images. So basically, what we do was, if we wanted to download this image, we'd click on it, we'd click View Original Image, we'd right-click, we'd go Save Image As, and then we would rename this something that we knew. So I like I renamed it Slide 1, okay? And I saved that to a folder. Okay, so I have all my raw, raw images now. I have three images I want to use for my website. I have my original image from the slideshow. So let's go ahead and open an image up. Okay, and remember I needed that bridge image. Okay, so this bridge image is 1280 by 800 pixels. Okay, so that's what I want to make for the rest of these, all right? I want to have something close to that. So let's go ahead and open up one of my images that I actually want to use. Okay, so I have my images here. Okay, so let's go Okay, so that's fine. It's, it's a giant image, so we can go ahead and resize it. We want to go to image size. Okay, we want to change that to 1280, which is great. Okay, so it's 1280 by 851, which is perfect. Go OK, then we're going to go ahead and cut off a portion of it. So <clears throat> we go to canvas resize, and we change it to 800. Okay, and we go ahead and we go file save. And we want to save it back down. We want to actually replace the original image, right? Because uh, we don't want a bunch of these floating around. Now, usually, what I would do, if I was going to, if this was going to be a permanent site, I would not replace the original image. I would keep the largest image I have in case I wanted to use the same image in print or somewhere else. But in this case, I'm just going to replace it because I don't don't want to keep a bunch of images around for a sample site. Okay, so I got that one. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the next one. So I open up my next image. I go image, image size. Okay, and my width again is uh, 1280. Click OK. Then I'm going to go ahead and canvas size it. So I'm going to go 800. So notice I just I get it to kind of the right size uh, width wise, and then I'm going to do the um, the height uh, separately, and then I'm going to go ahead and save this one off. Okay, I do want to replace it. Go file new image. Whoops, file. Whoops. File open. So open image. 
And I'm going to do my last one here. Okay, image, image size. Remember, I'm going to go to 1280, and these were huge, right? They were two megapixels, so they're just they're plenty big enough, right? So we're going to go image canvas size. We're going to do this again, 800. Okay, and I'm going to make sure I don't cut anything off. I don't want to cut off. And save again. Okay, save. I do want to replace it. Okay, now um, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead over to my Joom, back to my Joomla site, and I'm going to start to replace these images. Okay, so I'm going to go, remember I'm in the Options tab on the uh, CK uh, Slideshow um, module page. Okay, I'm going to go Select an Image. Okay, and remember I have to upload it, right? So I have to go to Browse. Okay, and I'm just going to go to Slide 1, Start Upload. Okay, so that uploads. It should, be, it should be pretty easy to find at this point, right? Slide one. Uh, image description is DAD1. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Insert. Okay, so notice the, the preview changed. Okay. Um, and we're just going to make a, a sample caption. So be the best DAD. How about don't be the best dad? Just be yourself. How about that one? That's good. Okay. Next one, we're going to go ahead and select the second image. So we're going to go select. Okay. We're going to scroll down. We're going to go to browse. Okay. We're going to go to slide two, start upload. Okay, and then we're going to scroll down. We're going to get slide two. We're going to call this one dad two. Okay, and we're going to insert. Okay, and we're going to call this okay, um, Quiet dad times need training. How about that? I don't even know what that means, but it sounds like good marketing speak. Okay, and finally, we're going to go ahead and change this back to image. We're going to go select image. This this uh, this uh, module has a lot of different options as far as like displaying videos and stuff. Uh, you can take a look at those on your own. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. This is our last one. We got slide three. We're going to call it dad three. Okay, and we're going to get insert. Okay, uh, be the best dad from the first day since it's a baby. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save this. Okay, so let's go take a look. We're going to go ahead and load the page. And there we have it. So there is our our daddy boot camp slideshows there notice we have our, our images we can scroll through them okay and we can actually go back into the site and there's lots of different options in here so you can actually go in and uh, change a lot of the um, like the transitions and things like that the alignment you can change you can just do a lot of different stuff in here uh, so uh, good luck and um, with putting on your first module and I hope this video helped uh, go ahead and make your first slideshow.